Yeah, how's it going, fellow Earth Stoners? My name is Christoph Soros, and today we're going to be checking out the Death Beams. <laughs> the Death Beams Reno Steed. Block. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. I think it's the Warrior. I think I'm going to keep the BGH just in case. I know we're gonna need it at some point anyways, so I guess it's worth keeping it, right? Should actually be really interesting if this is a control warrior. Okay, Dark Bomb's nice. Armor Smith, interesting. Alright, guess we'll throw this down. Actually, the Corsair might have been better, but... I don't know, I kind of like the coil because it helps us draw cards too, so... I think the Corsair might have been better. Especially if this is Grim Patron. Probably better. And like if he plays Fiery War Axe here, we could just kill it, but I don't know if that would be necessarily that good. Because then the Arbor Seth gets a whole bunch of armor procced, but we don't really care as long as we just like outlast him, so. If he's Grim Patron, we shouldn't have a problem doing that. Maybe DC or something? What the heck? <laughs> Dude, that DC dough. Dude, nice. Dude, rope. Rope till the end, boys. Sam's actually kind of awkward. But I guess he's not really pressuring us, so it doesn't really matter, right? Mm, I don't really know what I'm going to play next turn, though. Okay, Dark Bomb. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, I know what I'm playing now. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. He got... Three early, like his three best early game. Guess we'll just end our turn. Could you just use the coin just to use it, but I don't know if that's right. We don't want to fatigue too early. Yeah, so we're like one behind, I guess. Mm. It's hand, man. Power overwhelming. We just silence this? I don't even know. It's so bad though. Eh, whatever. We need to save the Rivendare for um for the dank steed. Hmm. Well that doesn't make me think he has Grom at all. What the heck, dude? Right, I'm pretty sure he has Grom, so... Still not a bad, like, death fight for him, though. 
unfortunately. Pretty sure that means that he has Grom in his hand, though. He actually could have played Grom here just to pressure me if he wanted to. Technically. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think it can kill us, right? Don't really want to tap though either. This is really weird. Hmm. Ah, I guess we could just kill this. Eight cards in hand. Tap. All right. So many reactive cards. Yeah, and there's no way he can kill us here. Like even if he had Grom Cruel Taskmaster, he'd still be one off anyways. But he needs ten mana to do that. So. All right. So we can ooze, and then Reno Jackson. I think is probably the play here. Technically, we don't even need to Reno, but I think we're going to do it. Just so I don't have to worry about my health. And it gives us a big body. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We actually might not have even been able to Reno because if we didn't draw this, that might have been a misplay. Woo! I actually had to draw this. Well, so sometimes lucky. There's no more death bite though. That's good. Shield slam. Right, that's fine. Armor Smith. Okay. Double dank steed. Could actually get four dank steeds. They'll probably brawl that though, right? Might be a good thing though. Hmm, that's not good. Um, hmm. I think we should probably twist together. Oh, Siphon Salt, that's pretty cool. Pretty good too. Top deck like a boss. Oh my god. Oh well. Hmm. I don't technically need to BGH that. Yeah, whatever. I don't know if this was the right play, but it's okay. This might bait out a brawl, though. So that might be good. Yeah, he's got brawl. Wait, what? That's it? Hmm. It's an interesting choice.
Dude, that noise though. <laughs> so many one ones. If this lives, the brawl like survives this with the brawl though. <laughs> Love like a 1 in 8 chance, right? Because he'll drop something then, bro. Bash. What the? Uh-oh. Hmm, wait a second. We're going to need to play this. Right? Let's say he. Wait, did he double axe already? It's actually a really important question. Well, even if he has second bash, actually. Actually. No, how far is that going to do it? We have to twisting nether this turn. Oh no, we put ourselves in a bad position. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, because we need this up. Oh, okay, never mind. He's not being aggressive. Oh, just in case if he wanted to be aggressive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not really that good, but it's still funny. He's just gonna shield slam or BGH it. He doesn't use any executes either. That's <laughs> actually hilarious. Maybe we should have waited. Oh, he's brawling. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. It's probably a safe turn to Draxus, right? Actually, we could play both of these. Oh, is Rex is better? Probably. The sooner we get out, the better. Yeah. I guess Harrison Jones is pretty bad. Yeah. No, it was fine. Rip. Rip Molten Giant. Lol. Yeah, because now we're going to be able to start pumping out 6-6s, six and we have the 5-5 five five too, so... Dude, these steeds... Are seriously going to be doing work right now, like honestly. Yeah, we don't want to tap anymore, anyways. He's already like three turns behind us, and he's got the tank up. But these are going to start being crazy. Problem is, is having all these on the board, though. So maybe if I get enough um, infernals, I can just start like filling the board up with them, and then we'll slowly lose these. Okay. It's a little bit scary. Actually, that was bad. 
Oh my god, I'm so bad with this deck. Because now if he just does damage to our face, he ends up... Oh, he's cool Taskmastering now. Okay, that's good. Do we want him to draw more cards? Whirlwind. Okay, he's killing some of our guys. That's good. What the heck, dude? Just, you know, random, whatever, yellow. Okay, never mind. This could be really bad, but it's not turning out that bad. Need to leave one spot, I think. Actually, now we could just Hellfire if we needed to play Healbot. Yeah, never mind. All right. Them dank steed thou. He just drew three three cards there too. Yeah. He's gonna do damage to our face, yeah. Exactly what I'm talking about. So now we heal here, because he probably has Grom and stuff. throw back all this against Paladin. Um, okay. I think this is okay. The only good part is the Reno Jackson. Man, if only we had the Chow and Ooze. Chow and Ooze are just so strong, like, early game, especially against weapon classes like Rogue, Paladin, and uh, Warrior. And even up against uh, Shawin, it's pretty good, too. And Hunter. It's Hunter too, so. It's all pretty good. Who's OP? Alright, so we kept this middle card. Amichel, top deck like a boss. Top deck and like a boss. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, he's got a chow too. Interesting. Yolo. Is he gonna coin out muster? <laughs> nope. Hmm. Well, bam. Alright, so now he can bring out Muster, and then we can Demon Wrath. Even though this still lives, I guess. Eh. Actually, kind of sucks. I think we have to Demon Wrath, right? Or can we? Well, actually, good Void Caller. Void Caller is not bad. It is good that we got the Steed already, though, with the, having the Reno Jax in our hand. But. Oh, this is a Dragon Paladin. Interesting. Hmm, very interesting. Um... I don't really like that. It's kind of annoying. Alright, so we're three cards ahead of him. Well, actually, technically we're four. Yeah, because he just drew a card. Okay. 
Alright, because the mortal coil too. Mm. This is really good on one of the steeds. That's kind of annoying. That ain't cool, man. Kind of makes me think that he doesn't have a quartermaster, though. Tap first. I mean, tap last. <laughs> You're like my dang steed, bro. Put this apple on your head. Now. <laughs> yeah, just keep coming back to life. <laughs> Coil? Ooh, that's pretty good. I like how much health we've already lost <laughs> up against like a mid range dragon or something. Oh god. Oh, Siphon Soul? Where do we silence that actually? Hmm. Oh, my greetings. This is so good. <laughs> Dude, this is so good. <laughs> like, he just like, got destroyed right there. That's because he has Sarah, actually. Oh god, don't have a Sarah. <laughs> no. Holiday rules. Dan's game. Hmm. Let's just Dr. Boom. See if he has anything extra. If he has the Acera, um, he might not be able to play it because he'll have removal. Maybe. Um, but we do have the silence for Yasera still. We're definitely going to need to save that. Maybe for Chromagus too, actually. Okay, he's got the Acera. Yeah, so he didn't have removal, so he had to play it there. Um, it's not really that bad for us, though. Hellfire might not be bad, too. Alright. So hopefully it's one of these. It's face. Okay. It's not one of these. <laughs> one of these? Alright, cool. Mm. We can just heal bot for now. As long as he doesn't have a quality or and consecrate here, we should be okay. You can't really play Chromagus until he does that too. But if he were to clear the board and then next turn play Chromagus, we don't really have a response to that, so that's the problem. It's kind of the problem. But it seems like he doesn't really have a good response, so might be good. If he attacks with the consort into the um, ooze, we'll just attack with Healbot. And then, like, we want to keep the boom alive, basically. Hmm. Probably gonna get Sarah that. Or, Miss Sarah that. What the? 
What am I saying? I can't even talk. How are we going to BGH this? Because he's probably not going to have another BGH target unless if he has Boom. But he doesn't have Boom currently, so... Solanus, okay. Solanus isn't bad. Fortunately, we can't play it, though. So... Top deck VGH, man. Alright, we're gonna leave this alive because um, of Chromagus. Actually, hmm. this is really open to Consecrate if we do that. Oh, we have the Twisting Nether now. Um, technically, I don't need to play this. I think I'm going to, though. Kind of doesn't really matter. I mean, it does matter, but, like, because he might have other threats. But we do have the Twisting Nether, so it's not that bad. Okay. That doesn't do, like, anything. <laughs> Pressure dealt. So, as long as he doesn't have equality, we should be okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we win. Only card that saves him is equality. Looks like he doesn't have it. Unless if he's gonna equality consecrate now. That's a peacekeeper, probably. Or a Uldaman. This could be a Uldaman, too. Wait, what? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Warrior is resident sleeper. Ugh. Dude! Got our dread seed, so we don't gotta worry about playing Reno. Forehead. I even see how many cards you got. Well. Ugh. Come on, man. What you got, man? What you got? Oh, yeah. Dude, we're so crazy. Look at us just like tapping cards and playing them and armoring up. And dude, that's so cool, dude. Dude. Dude, 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 dude. dude. Dude, you're supposed to just armor. That's cheating. Oh, hey. Top deck. I really hope that this is patron. I just want to burn his grim patrons. Uh oh. This is one of those warriors. <laughs> No, don't rope me every turn, bro. Oh, it's a dragon warrior. Huh. That's interesting. Ooh. Hmm. This actually might not be a bad play. Mm. Eh, I think I'll just wait. Probably play Ribbon Dare next turn. Start getting more Dread Steeds out. Probably will be good. Oh, he's actually gonna Shield Slam that? 
What the f Wow, he actually shield slammed that. <laughs> what the heck, dude? This guy's deck is crazy. Dude, this guy's going full YOLO. YOLO. Right, that's fine. Warrior doesn't really have a good way of dealing with uh, Dread Steeds like at all, unless if he silences. But we still have another one, so that's the hilarious part. Is it even if he has an owl? <laughs> if he silences it, we got another one in our hand. Yeah. <laughs> and the reason why I attacked there with those was so like if he did trade here, uh, we can end up Dread Steeding here. So that's okay. Wonder if he has a uh could actually have a corruptor. Corruptor is probably the worst case scenario here. Looks like he might not have it though, because that's a pretty obvious play if he does. He took that long to do that. Okay, he's executing. Okay, I was gonna say. So he's already shield slammed and executed. Monkey! Hmm. He needs to have a death bite or another some kind of hard removal, but Dragon Warrior, I don't know. That's the thing is like when I played it, it's not that it's bad. It's just I kind of found it like too inconsistent, which maybe playing Shield Slams, and um, I mean I guess it depends on what kind of Dragon Warrior you're looking at, but. I doubt that this guy's running Reno Dragons though. He's already used the Shield Slam and Execute. He's only really played one of each card, right? Yeah, so far. So he might be like Reno Dragon Warrior, but. No, it seems kind of weird. All I know is he likes to rope. <laughs> Like either you have the answer or you don't, man. <laughs> like come on. <laughs> Jesus. Oh wait. Do this first. Aw, rip monkey. He's so cute with his little shield and sword. What's actually really awesome about this? is this triggers the boom bots twice and that is just so insane like literally if one boom bot throws out a one to four damage ratio twice it's just so insane it's kinda good that this guy doesn't have a a death spite, but he had that so it kinda sucks oh wow he has a BGH eh, feels bad man What do you expect though, right? Alright, let's see where these boom bots hit first. Face, of course. Why would they not have face? What? Okay, that's good. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. I love it. I love it! Yeah, for free. Ooh. Obviously, I have to kill that because we don't want him just flat out winning the brawl. Um, and I'm not gonna play this because it makes the brawl worse, even though it's already pretty bad. But whatever. Yeah. That's okay. He's running out of uh, cards, so it's okay. Wow. Actually, that's actually that's not bad. That was the second best thing to win. If it's one of these one, then it's just like, okay. But, um, yeah, that wasn't, actually it wasn't too bad. Mm, Soulfire? 
Could get a taunt too. Taunt might be kind of cool. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll pick the taunt. Nah, we don't want to fill up the board. I think filling up the board is most of the time a bad idea. Dude, these horses though. <laughs> Freaking noise, man. I think we got this though. The game should be over. We just have so much value in our minions. And that doesn't really do anything. I'm technically just BGH that. I mean, I don't know. I think I'll probably BGH. Actually, I just trade with all these little guys. What am I doing? Cool. Play Shredder. Play another Dings team? Yeah, why not? We don't need him in our hand. YOLO. Well, since he is a dragon warrior, he did trigger the guardian earlier. Okay, he's got another one. Alright, so this one I'm pretty sure is a dragon, unless we just drew. Actually, he might have waited. Oh, wait, no, he used this to trigger it, so he might have just drawn it, actually. Hmm. Whoa. Okay, that's hilarious. That's pretty funny, yo. You want to know why that's even funny? Is because now he won't really be able to kill this. Unless if he has a whirlwind. Kind of just want to drop this. Alright, YOLO. <laughs> no big deal. Just one mana hellfire, guys. No big deal. I highly doubt he's running two brawls though anyways, right? I love how these things are just so insane. I don't even know if I even care about this anymore. I don't want it anymore. make sure he can't do any like shenanigans so this is a pretty easy win though crush hey sweet yeah so Cho is just yeah obviously insane here I kind of want to just keep playing just to keep playing but <laughs> I don't know if that's good sportsmanship right do we already play power overwhelming can't remember. Hmm. Dude, that two one taunt doe. So OP. Oh, he is Reno. Wait. Place two guardians. So, this guy's deck is crazy. What the heck? He's still in it, boys. Oh snap! Dude, he's still in this, man. This is hilarious, dude. He's still in it, man. Oh snap. Probably don't want to tap too much more, right? I don't know. Kinda need to pressure him though too. Maybe just one more.
I'll hold it on draw Draxus though. Hey, there's the power overwhelming. Hmm. Yeah, give him a coil. Woo. I don't know, I guess we didn't really need to do that. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, man. Finally play something. I actually could have just not played something for a while there. Really hope we don't draw Draxus. Oh god. Oh my god, did we draw it? Okay, I thought we drew it for a second. Get that out of here. Let's just play this. So we already renoed, so we definitely have the upper hand when it comes to the fatigue. Hmm, top deck now. He's gonna coil. Yeah, do it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait. Now we're gonna overdraw. Oh god. No, if we lose Jaraxxus, we might actually lose this game. Ugh. Ugh. Oh god. Twisting Nether, no! Rip. Pretty useless for him. Yeah, kill the Cho. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Wait. Confused. Tempo Reno? Tempo Reno. Tempo Reno Craigasm. Force and Gasm. Oh! Where's that twisting down there? Wow, he only drew one card. Well. Dude, that twisting nether dough. Actually, it feels pretty bad, man. Rip twisting nether. I can't even remember what he played. <laughs> this game's like so long. <laughs> Definitely saving this for you, Sarah. That's actually really good that we got this. And we have Siphon Soul, too. It's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet, tweet, pretty sweet. Oh, we're gonna fatigue about the same time, too. I like how Jirax is like my last card. Love. Poor Al. Oh, that's not good. I'm actually surprised he hasn't drawn just a card. That's the problem. Hmm. Actually, not sure. Do we do Raxes? What if he has Grom plus, plus Cruel Taskmaster? Hmm. Oh wait, we can just ooze this. What am I thinking? Alright. Hmm. I actually don't think we need to Draxus, but could, maybe. Demon Wrath. Eh, I guess it's kinda good. Crud, forgot about that. 
Okay, yeah. Good thing I didn't have an Interaxis there. Shadow Flame. Dan's game. Mm. All right. We got this. Oh my god. At least it was the last one. That's actually really good for us. <sighs> Poor head. Oh yeah, he didn't armor up first. Yeah, we actually can't um, do anything because of Gromash. Wait, he doesn't have another dragon? Oh, no, he has Sarah? Hmm. Interesting. Actually, could this still be a close game? Because he gains four life every turn. Cool Taskmaster. That's got to be Grom last, right? There's no way it's not. Hmm. It's gotta be Grom. There's no way it's not. Dude, there's no way. Dude, there's no way it's not Grom. Okay, so the owl was enough to pressure him. Interesting. What's his last card? Don't understand. Yeah, we still need to wait to do this. Maybe just like another turn. I don't know, maybe I've been playing this wrong. Maybe it's not I've been needing to play this long. If that's Grom, we have to heal here. Yeah. I don't even know if we win, actually, even if we do heal. Maybe we did this a turn too late. Or, well... We had to wait. Do we even win next turn, actually? If he groms. Oh wait, actually, do we lose? Well, how much damage did he just take? Five. So he's gonna take six, so we just need to do six damage to him. So yeah, I'm pretty sure we got this. We actually almost lost that. Oh my god, longest game of my life, dude. <laughs> what the heck? Alrighty, guys. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right there. Yeah, because he would have taken six damage, right?
Yeah, so the Hellfire kind of like saved us. Actually, I didn't need to use the Crush, but I'm pretty sure that last card was Grom. Alrighty, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to check out more videos by me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And for those of you watching through YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and put the deck in the list in the description below. So you go check out the deck on Hearthpone. Give the author some love. If you have any questions, you can go there and ask. Like always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to catch you in another one of my videos. Stay chill. Peace out.